And uh, one is uh, basically an incitement to violence, saying that if the Democrats don't get their way, then things could get ugly in the streets. Isn't that, isn't that interesting how the Democrats always kind of slide in the threat of violence when it comes to policy? If they don't get what they want, there's always this implied threat of violence. And then you wonder what they're talking about when they say who is a threat to democracy. It's it's them, right? They're, they're always projecting right? All the Republicans that are a threat to democracy, yet they're the ones that imply violence and actually conduct violence, 2020, in the streets. So let's take a look at the quotes here. You'll recognize the uh, perpetrators, right? Uh, the House that. Democratic, you know, caucus, certainly the progressives, but also in the streets, you know, I mean, I think that this is... Also in the streets. It's important that we don't take steps back from the very strong agenda that the president himself shepherded and led over the last two years. But it's a very strong agenda that the president shepherded. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's been really strong. He doesn't even know what day of the week it is. All right. AOC. Agrees to spending caps or if he agrees to work requirements on certain social safety programs. It's going to be a problem. We do not legislate through the debt ceiling for this very reason. It's going to be a problem. We don't legislate through the debt ceiling for this. The reason why we have the runaway debt is because we don't let, we should. You see, this is like a uh, bifurcated system. You get the blank check by raising the debt limit, and then you spend all that money, and then you you overspend that, and then you ask for the, you see how they're not connected, right? And, and that's how the Democrats like it. And a lot of the Republicans like it too, because they can get all the money they want for their pet projects, whether it's war in Ukraine or whatever. And they don't have to pay for it until the next Congress comes around and they can raise it. That's it. You got it. It's circular, right? There's no actual responsibility to control government spending from Democrat or Republican circles. You know, not when you have senators like, uh, I don't want to pick on anybody in particular. So let's just say Mitt Romney. 